Yo, what's up guys? So today I'm going to be throwing a review on this Alpha X Series board. The length is 32 inches, the width on the biggest end is 9.5, and there's 7.4 on the smallest. What's really good about this board is it's a DK with a 3D dimensional shape, and on this end you get a higher kicktail, and on this end a smaller one. With this kicktail you're allowed uh, to push higher ollies, farther slides. You can't take this really fast downhill at all. I tried, I wiped out pretty hard. Um, but it's still, you can go fast and push out some decent amount of slides. And it's really good with sidewalk slashing and technical free ride. I recommend this really for riders who want to just kind of know what they're doing and can handle some speed on smaller boards and want to push out more technical free ride, skate tricks, but also some sliding. I have it hooked up on these Alien Workshop uh, multicolor risers, Venture lightweight trucks, silver edition. Um, red bearings and some 70 millimeter sector 9 butter balls and you can also get this board in three different colors a black a neon green slash yellow and a darker blue i got the black it's the most common color to get yellow they don't make as much anymore uh, just like the neon green and then blue is a little harder to find but uh yeah black i just got it from skate warehouse i recommend them to get it from they usually carry a lot of elephant stuff but I put on grip wise, I put on Jessup on this on this end of the kick and on this side bought a small section where I usually put my right foot to slide and push out slides on. I put a thing of black blood orange. It helps me uh, stay locked in and then push out ollies on this end. But like I said, you really can't take this downhill, but there's pros and cons about this board. Right here being that it's so small, your foot slips a lot, so I recommend to put a strong grip tape. Vicious, uh, Blood Orange, those are the two I really would recommend. And then put any other kind of skate around on the other part. But Prozo, you can hit really good tricks that you wouldn't be able to hit on your normal long board. Uh, I'm able to start like 360s on this board, but I can't do it on the uh, Lee Morgan Pro Model deck. What's really good about this is even though it's really skinny about right here and it's really closed in, um, you can do a lot of technical tricks you wouldn't be able to do on any of your other boards. And on my skateboard, I can't do um, as much as I would on this. And it hits out higher ollies, kick flips, shove it. Um, oh, with, with shove it, I wiped out a lot because this one likes to hit the ground and just collapse. And with this end, it goes smooth, so you really have to pop up high into them. But I'm able to also take this on some rails, unlike some of my other boards. Um, but this handles well on rails and sidewalk slashing. So I mean, it's really a good board to do any sort of technical free ride, push up slides, um, any tricks that you want to try on the skateboard uh, while sliding around. Uh, it's just really good for all of that. Like I said, I got the black edition from Skate Warehouse, some silver lightweight venture trucks, Alien Workshop. Uh, multicolor risers, red bearings, sector 9, 70 millimeter reels, butter balls, and just up and blood orange grip tape. I'll put some writing in at the end, and in the meantime, like and subscribe and keep on watching, guys. Thanks. See this? Right there. Yeah. I'm Michael Pappas, and uh, this is Silent Library with Kesha. <laughs> Yep, yep. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. Zooming through the sky. Little lights, guys. Climb aboard. Get ready to explore. There's so much to find. Little lights, guys. Hey. 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 So today I'm throwing interviews with this Elephant X Series 2 board. The width is 9... Freaking messed up again. <laughs> 